Welcome, and follow me is a Huawei Nova 11 Pro, and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this device. So, to get started, we're gonna open up our settings, and I'm gonna begin by navigating into the home screen and wallpaper, where we will find a couple different things that I wanna show. So, this section in general is dedicated to customizing your device, and that includes things like your wallpapers, icon styles, fonts, and magazine unlock. Now, I personally don't like that, so I'm gonna turn it off. Uh, now, if you don't know what magazine unlock is, it's basically uh, whenever you press the button, it will show you some kind of wallpaper right here, and it does cycle through different ones. As you can see, we have different kind of categories right here that will show, and some of them are just kind of weird, like, why would I want to have wallpapers of celebrities or luggage? It just seems kind of, some of them seem just weird. Uh, now, apart from that, you have, like I mentioned uh, below, a couple additional options. One of them that I'll mention right here, which I personally like to change, is the home screen uh, no, home screen settings, the home screen style. There we go. And this allows you to switch between the standard and drawer mode, which I personally prefer the drawer. It's the typical Android experience, not standard isn't. It's maybe standard for iPhone users. Uh, so yeah, once you enable that, you can now have your app drawer by pulling up, which is what I personally prefer myself. Now moving on into the display section and the brightness, we will find a couple additional things in here. So we have a dark mode, you can turn it on or off. If you tap right here, you have the option to enable it all day, or you can set it up on a schedule and set a start and end time. And then it will be switching between these two modes based on your provided start and end time, which is a pretty neat feature. Now moving on into another option in here, it's going to be the color mode and the temperature. Uh, by default, almost every device is set to vivid. So if you find the colors to be a little bit too overdone, a little bit too saturated and vibrant, you can change it to normal, which will uh, apparently give you a sRGB or P3 color gamut, which should be color accurate. I don't know how correct that is, but okay. Uh, but in general, it is a little bit more toned down, so it's not as saturated and vibrant as the typical typical options are. So uh, I recommend changing this if you want. Now moving on into next option is the screen refresh rate and resolution which you have right here. And we have smart resolution which will automatically adjust it and then we also have high and low. Low being a 800p resolution and high being 1200. So this one is a little bit above 1080p, and this one is a little bit below it. So, if you're interested, you can change it right here. Uh, higher resolution will uh, will consume a little bit more battery life rather than the low one, which will consume a little bit less. And moving to the uh, screen refresh rate, we have a set. We have it set to dynamic. We also have a high and standard. Now, this will be uh, fairly simple if you prefer to prioritize your battery life over how the device looks or how it just kind of feels when you're scrolling up and down then select standard this will give you a better battery life while for everyone who wants to have that nice smooth scrolling motion of it, like when you have the page just looking super fluid when you're scrolling up and down and everything just looks nice and snappy then stick with the dynamic uh, under no circumstances should you choose high high will permanently run at 120 giving you basically the benefit of dynamic uh, and uh, and no, well, let's just put it this way. Dynamic gives you the benefit of high uh, without the drawdown of high. High basically runs permanently 120, while dynamic runs 120 when it needs to. So as an example, right now, it's at 60 because the display isn't moving, so it doesn't need to run at 120. But the moment it needs to, which would be right now, it automatically switches to 120, giving you this nice, uh, smooth 120 motion. So I recommend changing that. And last thing that I wanted to show you is the notifications and status bar to kind of simplify the status bar right here. So I'm going to select status bar and here we have the simple display. And this will just toggle off a bunch of different things right here. You can also toggle them off manually yourself like this. So it basically hides the notification up application notifications 
and it also hides the name of the service provider which is kind of useless in general so I would probably recommend turning that off altogether just because it doesn't really give you any benefit that you you're getting your flag, uh, your uh, providers from Verizon for instance or T-Mobile or whatever it is uh, what matters is the reception that you're getting and that will still be visible so there we go uh, one last thing we have also right here is the show battery percentage so if you want to show or hide it you can turn it off in here so we have battery uh, percentage you have a don't show uh, next to the battery or inside of the battery this will be a little bit cleaner it's a little bit harder to see but at least it gives you basically both info the battery and percentage and takes a little bit less space so later on you can have a little bit more notifications showing up in here or just a cleaner look so with that being said if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching